What's up, Cuyahoga County? What's up, Cuyahoga County? What up, home guys? Home guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you are a you are a walking meme. All right, we got a casual we got a casual opening for today's G One NBC Fire TV. I got to click all these buttons to broadcast to all these spots. So please text us, message us, and holler at us on either YouTube. <laughs> Um, Facebook in our Facebook group, uh, the G1NBC Fire TV Game Center, and on G1NBC Cuyahoga County, and welcome to this championship edition of G1NBC Fire TV. I am your production assistant, John Spalding, and we also have with us today uh, Greg Spalding, kind of the originator of us all being here, and he. Uh, Excuse me, we're all getting sick, and it's a good thing that we are broadcasting from our homes because we have chicken noodle soup and orange juice uh, just on the road. So, uh, without further ado, so Greg Spaulding, his uh, player rewards code is 123HEAT. His league is Greg Spaulding's All Stars. And we have Giant Spaulding. Uh, give them your league or your player rewards code and your league name again. The uh, player rewards code is uh, FAN34, and the league name for now is uh, Agro DraftKings. So, uh, FAN34. Cool. Thanks, Chance. Thanks, Greg, for being here. How are you guys? Absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. I'm not sick. Oh, oh, oh. the fit. A little bragging a little bit about uh, viruses. That's always fun. So here's what we've got going on today, guys. As you can see right over, oh, there. We got some uh, fire fan updates, results from the championships. We're going to talk about the big game. We get into some uh, predictions, some takes, and some uh, commentary. <coughs> and then we will get out of here. So some fire fan updates. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uncle Greg, why don't you go ahead and do the honors for that? What are some new things that uh, we have coming up on the app? Okay, one new thing. The reward program is not quite ready yet. It will be coming very, very shortly. But what that does build into what started last week, the big news of the week, the ads are available. Ads are available. You know, everybody knows when we talked to you way back in, May, June, July. You can play this game for free. Well, now you can. How do you do it? Every day you can jump on the app. You have the ability to watch six 30-second advertisements. Every time you click on one of those, you will receive a token. So what does that mean? Watch six ads, get six tokens every day. That's 180 tokens a month. It's about 1,200 tokens a year. As John's showing you right there, you click get tokens, it'll say watch ads. You press that little button there and you're gonna be popped up with nine ads. They're all different types. I like this John. one because it's the Star Wars Rogue One commercial, or at least it was, but we I can't like play all that myself. here. <laughs> but you click up at the bottom for tokens. <laughs> <laughs> And you Most get a token. Ads, what, yes, what you do. You have to make sure you engage with the ads because it'll say on there, click for tokens. Boom, click it and you got it. Very easy. It takes you about three minutes a day. You build up tokens. Now, if you don't like one sport, you want to wait for another sport. If you just like football, <laughs> go ahead and click on ads every day for the next three or four months. You'll have, uh, if I do my math right, what do we got here? 180, 360, about 600, six to 800 tokens come football season next year play a lot of football but we're yeah. gonna hope you're gonna get a lot because we got a lot more coming we got soccer we got baseball we got cricket we got nascar everything's can you, coming can you make click it and you got it your new slogan i got i'll do that click it and you got it <laughs> that is that could be our prize that could be our quarterly prize uh contest name click it and you got it click it and you got it <laughs> Click it, you got it, or click it and get it. Click it and get it, I like better. <laughs> I like that. Click it and get it. Click it and get it. Okay, we're going to do something with that, folks. That's it, John. All right. Hashtag so click Thank it and get it. For the update. So ads are available. Prizes are coming soon. 
and we are getting ready for the big game, but we have only just begun. There will there are many more sports and many more games, so keep playing. And so let's get into uh, some stuff from last week. So let's, or actually it was two weeks ago. I have a 10 days now, so let's check it out. We have our winners from the conference championships. Now, before I announce the winners, I you know, I just wanted you guys to know that I correctly predicted the winners for both games, uh, unlike you both. Yes, uh, yes. I did pick Atlanta, and of course you guys picked Green Bay. Um, we see my buddy Glenn, who was the winner of that game, represent G1 NBC Fire. Uh, Tony Vaccaro from uh, Want to Play uh, 33 is his uh, player re rewards code. So if you know Tony or you like Tony, you can go ahead and download the game and put in uh, Want to Play 33 for his reward code. His league name is awesome. It's the Butt Shack Barbecue, and I can't wait to get their logo up. And uh, have them sponsor our show. Um, and then in my league, we had Scott Masico. Does anyone know him? Do we know him yet? I think no. I think he was an orphan player that came in. Really? So uh, Scott, you're a, you're awesome, and you're a badass at Fire Fan, and you won in my league in the Pittsburgh New England game. And Farmer Smoke came in second. Now Farmer Smoke was hilarious because he texted about halfway through the game, and he goes, "Excuse me, is anybody watching the game in their hot tub right now?" <laughs> and I was like, hey, damn. Hey. Scott, uh, you need to be a Scott Masique bro and get on the show and get interviewed. So all those winners think about coming on to the show every now and then. Do a little interview session. Awesome. And Thanks, Gene. And, so and all you all you winners will be added to the to the uh performance the award. They got a performance award drawing of uh the playoffs. And you know the first and second players I went back through, and uh, all of those winners are going to be in a drawing for, for 50 tokens. Oh, yeah. Good work, everybody. I hope you had fun. We had a couple Scott new Masillo, players. We don't know you, but you're in. <laughs> yeah, come back and play. All right, so let's get to it, guys. We got a big game coming up. The Bigly game is what I called it for today. The Bigly. Bigly. I think Huge. I rocked that. I think I rocked that title. We got Brady versus great. Ryan. That's what I'm calling it. So it's obviously the New England Patriots versus the Atlanta Falcons. Let's do a little bit of analysis first, Jansen. So this is where this is where you shine, and uh, go ahead and talk about that. And um, now let's, you, go ahead. You got a you got a little bit of a bragging about uh, Mister picking it all, but uh, oh, I hey. firmly remember our last show. We doing a couple of what you gonna do, brother impressions. <laughs> Because did I not say Chris Hogan was going to run all wild on you, brother? Oh, my God. And I got so many points. I got so oh. many points for picking Chris Hogan. Of it, course, I didn't it, win uh. shit. But I got so <laughs> many points for that. <laughs> he, he gave a lot of people that were smart points. He uh, The game was just set up for him. And that's the kind of guy he is. Yeah. Um, and uh, you're going to see a lot. Again, um, Atlanta's, you know, they have an okay defense. But, uh, you know, a smart quarterback like Tom Brady can throw on them. Uh, so you're going to see them uh, stack the box against uh, um, Blunt, and you're going to see uh, them put two guys on Edelman. So you're going to see a lot of uh, Chris Hogan again this week on the uh, New England side. So, anyone else going to shine? Uh, I think on Atlanta, um, I, I really, really like uh, our uh, boy from uh, Ohio. Not from Ohio, but he played for our Browns. I like Taylor Gabriel this week. Um, okay. The new, uh, Sanu last week, yeah, uh, Sanu last week showed that he's uh, he's definitely a possession guy outside of Julio Jones. I mean, I could say Julio Jones, but that would just be a given. But uh, I think you're going to see uh, uh, New England. They have a, pro a pretty good secondary, and uh, they're going to be covering Sanu. So one thing New England is acceptable is is that uh, kind of third uh, down the field type of guy. Uh, and you're yep. going to see that on Gabriel. Yep, yep. I got gotcha. you. So – it's going to be – so I don't really know. It, 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 all of the major uh, folks and people like that are saying it's either going to be a very close game or it's going to be a blowout. But they don't know. It could be either team could do the blowing out. Right, right. And uh, I, well, I, the over-under last time I checked, I think it was 58, 58 and a half. 
uh, second highest in uh, Super Bowl history. So, like you said, uh, we don't know what that indicates right now. Does that indicate a 32 to 30 victory? Does that indicate a 42 to 18 victory? Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I personally, I, I don't think we're giving predictions right now, but uh, I think it's going to be a high scoring game. I think it's going to be close. All right. Let's talk about these two that I have highlighted up here, Brady versus Ryan. So one, if he wins, is obviously in contention for the GOAT. And the second one, if he wins, is the MVP of the league already and is probably cementing himself as a very high upper echelon quarterback in the NFL. What's your take on on either one of those thoughts? Uh, but yeah, Brad, I mean – as much as you could say about Brady, um, everything that's said about him is it's it's not warranted. The guy's done everything uh, you can't do with that position. Uh, it's it's all jealousy, really. Uh, so with that in mind, I, I like to focus more on Matt Ryan. I think what Ryan's done this season is absolutely phenomenal, um, and uh, he's always shown that he has that ability. Um, he's in he was in the echelon of the, the Philip Rivers and the Matt Staffords, but he's really kind of jumped over all of them right now and uh, a lot of that has to do with uh, the new uh, head coach over there in San Francisco or so they say but uh, Shanahan has really uh, shown him how to be a true quarterback and uh, he's, he's taking advantage of this year he's smart, he's not turning the ball over um, so if, if, if Ryan succeeds, uh, the Falcons could win this. Yeah, absolutely let's also not forget that under center's Alex Mack, he's an all pro, all star oh, yeah. and damn, did does it hurt to see him uh, and Shanahan over there as a Browns fan? Yeah. But but wow, and yeah, you see, you've seen them. that all. You've seen this all during the playoffs where uh, you have these players that uh, you know your uh, couple guys in New England too with uh, Jabal Sheard. Uh, you know guys that were system guys here, but when you put them under good coaches that know exactly what roles they should be in, yeah, you know they they are true NFL players, which led you to believe you know were we really that bad at drafting talent or. We well, just here's don't the have thing, though. I mean, Jabal Sheard was – he was a starter over here, and he wasn't that good as a starter. He's a role player over there. Exactly. And exactly. so he's in for certain packages and stuff like that. Barkevious Mingo still sucks no matter what team he's on. But my he's bunch, on special teams, and that's where they're putting him. So. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. Are you an apologist? He's the sixth pick in the draft, and you're over there going, oh, yeah, I think we might have been drafted okay. we got a good special teams ace in Kiki Mingo. Let's, Next level, when Barkevious Mingo is on special teams, the other team only averages 13 yards on special teams carries. Oh, my gosh. What? Okay. <laughs> no, it's absolutely horrible pick. Thank Not a good you. linebacker at all. Oh, okay. I thought uh, you were being serious. No, no. Absolutely oh. awful pick. I was about to punch my computer screen. <laughs> you were definitely going to get kicked out of this conference call. Line. Oh, yeah. No, horrible pick. All right. Horrible pick. Greg Spaulding, any any astute analysis from you on either of these two guys? No, but but you did say a magic word. You said the word picks. And I think that's going back to our theme again. Pick it and get it. Or that's click it and get it, wasn't it? Botching the hashtag. Yes, that's right. But we're just going to go on that word picks. I got a little something special here that that my cohorts here didn't even know about. Oh, man. This is something special we're going to add to the game. Wow. I, remember, I think it was like, is my wife over here? Renee, are you in the room here? Is it's like we're on Mike and Renee? Mike, and he keeps looking back at the fans. <laughs> is He's been she doing decent? This all <laughs> is Renee, she are you in the room? <laughs> I don't want to see my mom like that. Here? Oh, yeah, she's coming in here. YouTube if you guys can remember, I think it was maybe week, John could probably refresh your memory, week two of the playoffs. When uh, we had somebody uh, sitting on the couch there and just killing it, oh, she, she was show, reading a book. Can well, she show us the book she was reading? Yeah, she's actually joining. Here's Renee. She's into the room here now. What we're actually going to do tonight? We're going to show our fire fan players how to play because she's got her pregame picks available for this Sunday. Oh, and we're going to do it right now. Hot damn! We'll call them out as you do it. We're going to call them out. You guys are actually going to be able to see the picks here. Pick number one, how many points will the team score in the second quarter? She picks exactly 10. <laughs> Going for 20 points. Wow. Only 10 points in the second quarter. She's brave. Pick, 
Pick two, which team will have more rushing yards in the game? New England or Atlanta? Renee calls New England. Wrong, 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 <laughs> wrong Mom. <laughs> Don't blast the mom on TV. We wrong. Jumped over, we jumped over pick three, unfortunately. She's already so nervous. A, I guess one. Who will win, New England or Atlanta? Here comes. Oh, Renee picks Atlanta. <laughs> Take her to will, Vegas. Will Patriots quarterback Tom Brady throw two or more touchdowns? Oh, yes, God, no. yeah. Oh, Renee goes with yes. Yeah, I mean, no. Yeah. She went with no. no. Whoa. Went, oh. Will Falcons wide receiver Julio Jones catch a touchdown? Here. That is oh, amazing. going with the Atlanta theme. She says yes. Uh-oh. Mom, Uh-oh. you're really you're really starting to deflate Blade Brady's balls with those picks. Will Patriots wide receiver <laughs> phenomenal Chris like Hogan catch a touchdown? Yes, man crush. Going yes on that also. Pick number eight out of ten. How many receiving yards will Patriots wide receiver Julian Elderman have? This is going to be interesting, folks. Wait, can you say his name? Can you, can you say his name again? Can you say his name again? Julian Edelman. Julian Edelwoods. Oh, my gosh. She picked under 20 yards, folks. Oh, for, for and she won. She won. Let, hey, it, how many more? She doesn't like white wide receivers. How many passes will Falcons quarterback Matt Ryan attempt? 28. She says 11 to 20. Uh, well, Finally, hmm. pick number 10. How many rushing attempts will Falcons running back Devonta Freeman have. Uh, he's a little Devontae. upset this week. To, to, uh, to Evan Coleman's getting all the love. She says 17 to 22. Carries? Yes. Whoa. And that's Mom, it, folks. She's do the dirty bird. Do the dirty bird. That's my grandbaby. <laughs> Get a, Thanks, Renee. We'll save that for the Baby Talk podcast. Thank you. All right. There's something you didn't know was coming, John. No, that was awesome. At least I know I'm going to beat Aunt Renee this week. Those picks were shitty. (laughs) 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 No, that was really cool. Thank her for coming on and doing that. I can't wait to. That's how you do it, folks. That's easy. Those are pregame picks. Yeah. So you go in, you make your pregame picks, and then you, and then on game day you go in and hang out with your friends and have fun. We're also, uh, after the playoffs, we're going to start transitioning into doing um, whatever the games of the week are for Fire Fan. Uh, like, you know, Manny Pacquiao has a league, Erlacher has a league. Uh, what's the Ohio State quarterback guy's name? Cardell Jones, he's got a league. He's actually up there in that national contest um, doing pretty good signing up players yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Jance, you're on mute in case you didn't know. So that's why we can't hear you. So, all right, let's go and get into our predictions. And then we will get out of here. So, Greg, since you're on screen first while Jance is coming back, let's just have you make your predictions for the big league game. For the big league game? The big L.I. I am going to say... 27, 24, overtime, Atlanta. I will go next. I am going to say 35, 32, the Patriots. Chance. Here it comes. No, we can't hear you. Something happened to Jance's mic. Let's see. If you can hear me, Jance, why don't you message me? Yep, there you are. There he is. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. All right. So, uh, those are good picks, guys. Uh, Nice, uh, Nice move there, John, with the Patriots. I'm going to have to agree with you, bud. I think uh, this is just a team that is, uh, no matter what you throw at them, they're, they're, they're in and out week after week. 
uh, winning nine straight. Uh, they're just rolling on all cylinders, and uh, I don't think Atlanta. Um, I think Atlanta has the full team to stop them. I don't think they have the defense to stop Brady, and I think the Patriots' defense is better than a lot of people think it is. Um, what I really like about the Patriots is their pace of play. They're going to be able to slow down Matt Ryan. They're going to be able to um, use uh, Laguerre Blunt when necessary to make it a four-minute drive as opposed to a one-minute drive, even if it is only a couple downs. So um, I think it's going to be Patriots 38, the Atlanta Falcons 24, in a fun but not exciting fourth quarter Super Bowl. Wow. Gotcha. Well, thanks to both of you for being here. We, I really appreciate it. Great takes today. A lot of fun. Thanks for the surprise, Greg. John, before you go, I got yeah. want to make just a couple more Any final last-minute announcements? Sure. Yeah. Our uh, Super Bowl contest. I want everybody to remember Firefan giving away a 2017 Nissan Altima. Everybody that enters, you got a shot for this car. Our personal contest this Sunday, okay, every quarter, we will be doing a random drawing of every player that's in, in the game. We're doing a random drawing every quarter for 25 tokens. Uh, as we mentioned before, the winners of our, of our NFL playoffs, first and second place, they are put into a uh, random drawing, a performance drawing. That winner will receive 50 tokens. And what we are going to do, the winner of our fire fan game, the one who scores the most points, and you're going to want to stay in this game, the whole game, guys, the winner gets 200 tokens. Second place will receive 100 tokens. There you have it. You got to watch a lot of ads to get those kind of tokens. <laughs> but you can click it and get it. Click it and get it. Oh my god, that's too funny. I know that is too funny. You're just like on it, and I wasn't ready for that, and that cracked my shit up. That was so funny. <laughs> Download Firefan. Put in one of our rewards codes that you heard tonight. I want you to put in G one NBC Fire. But if you put in one two three heat or Jance's rewards code, which I can't ever remember. Fan thirty four. Fan thirty four. Fan- I will Just not remember be mad. fan and 34 Shaquille O'Neal. <coughs> fan 34. Got it. Put those codes in, guys. I'm happy. Put them in. Put them in. All right, guys. Uh, thank you both for being here again, and we will we'll reconvene after we get in, back into the routine of what the big games are going to be uh, from Firefan and f- for our next broadcast. Absolutely. All right, and we will see you guys soon. Thank you. Take care. Have a good super super beep, everybody. And this is the Fire Fan Trump White House. And this is G1NBC Fire TV, a sports broadcast for our Fire fans. We do not endorse any political candidate or position on this show at all, especially any of the candidates from 2016. Uh, all wide receivers matter. Except for Josh Gordon. Uh, Good night, everybody. G1NBC Fire TV. Get the Funyuns, Josh Gordon. You're hungry. Click it and get it. Oh, nice. All right, guys.